Hi guys, it's Jed Johnson from Diesel Crew, and this is your grip strength challenge for this week. Now, you'll see I'm outside. Beautiful day. Of course, we got to deal with the trucks, and who knows, it might even start raining. <laughs> or a feral hog might run by in the background. Who knows, here in Pennsylvania. But, it is a beautiful day right now, so I wanted to come out and shoot this video outside. This week's challenge is a one-arm deadlift with 185 pounds on a normal bar. So what I have here is just normal power lifting bar. I use it for bench press all the time. It's got center knurling. That's fine. You can use chalk. That's fine. Just got to have 185 pounds. And uh, the biggest plate you can use is a uh, 45. What I mean by that is you can't go using a plate that's this big. That's going to take away from the challenge. So use a normal 45. I've, uh, I've got a couple York 45s here. And speaking of York, at York Barbell in May, on May 21st, I believe, they're going to induct Slim the Hammer Man into their museum. And I'm planning on being there. So I'm wondering if anybody else is planning on going. Just leave a comment below, and maybe we can hook up for a training session that weekend. Do some grip stuff. All right, so let's look at how to perform this lift. Now, the one arm or one hand deadlift is so named because you're going to pick the bar up with one hand. Now, there's lots of different ways you can do this. We're going to do the straddle, so you're going to have the bar running between the legs. You can also perform the lift in front of your shins like a, like a, like a regular deadlift. You can perform what's called a suitcase deadlift where the bar is positioned outside of your feet. We may end up doing those variations sometime down the road for the grip strength challenge. But for, day, for today, we're gonna to stick with the center version, because I know some people might not have done this before, and this is a little bit easier on your back. Remember, this is a grip lift. We're not, we're not trying to test our back strength here as much as our grip. Although, of course, lower body, back, glutes, all that stuff's gonna be involved, because there's gonna be motion movement taking place over multiple joints. So this is what you want to do. You want to grip near the center of the bar. If you don't have center knurling, you can still perform this lift. And if your grip is good, it shouldn't hold you back too much with 185. But generally, people like to stand either right above the center of the bar or slightly forward and then reach reach back. Because when you're standing, when you're standing up, if you're slightly forward, when you come down, you're actually going to be in line with the bar pretty well in the center. If anything, you want to grab slightly back on the bar because your front two fingers are stronger than your last two fingers. And they'll be able to handle the imbalance a little bit better. Um, from there, it's really just a matter of bending down, picking up the bar, and uh, coming to the near lockout position. Now, you can't come to that full lockout position because your body's going to be in the way. What we're going to look for is getting the bar up above the knees for this lift, and then you can either hold it for time, perform reps, whatever the case may be. And uh, it looks like this. Make sure to, when you get that, when you approach the bar, push your butt back, stay, keep your back straight or even over lordotic curve so that your lower back is pointed in towards your belly. Don't want to round your back. Um, could lead to injury. Some people pull better that way, but general, in general, most people perform better with a straight to lordotic curve. Okay, from there, you can support, you can, you can brace your off hand on your leg, inside, whatever the case may be. Grip it, and just pull up. No hook grip for this, all right? Hook grip makes it too easy for a test of grip strength. So, it is, it's a good lift. It's a really good lift for developing just pure brute grip strength and also testing your body and like I said depending on what variation you use you can make it even more challenging for different parts of your body depending on where the bar is located so get me your submissions by 8 p.m. Eastern on Friday night and uh, follow the directions as per the title tags and description that are on the link at dieselcrew.com there's a link right below here and if we're having trouble with 
developing the grip strength that you need for these challenges. I invite you to check out my eight weeks of grip workouts program that I'll send you free. There's a link for that right below in the description as well. All the best in your training. Look forward to seeing your submissions. Take care.